Okay, just now we have seen about the cross product. Okay, uh, we see how to do a cross product and then a few theorems or properties on the cross product. And now we want to see one theorem that say that if the phi is the angle between the vector u and v, okay, then the magnitude of cross product u and v will give you actually the magnitude of u multiply with the magnitude of v multiply with the sine phi okay so if you see here the when you find the magnitude this means that when you find the magnitude of uh, u and v okay when you find the magnitude of u cross product v what you will have what you will get is actually the magnitude of u multiply with the magnitude of v multiply with sine phi okay so if you see you have your vector u here and you have your vector v here so the vector u magnitude of vector u multiply with the magnitude of vector v multiply with the sine phi actually will give you the whole area of this parallelogram okay so actually what we can say that we can find the area of the parallelogram by using the formula or by finding the magnitude of u cross v oh uh, magnitude of vector u cross vector v because magnitude of vector u cross vector v is actually the magnitude of u multiplied with magnitude of v multiplied with the sine phi which is the area of the parallelogram so we can simply find the area of the parallelogram by finding what is the vector u cross with the vector v and then we find the magnitude of this cross product we will get what we'll, we'll get in return is the area of the parallelogram formed by these two vector u and v okay so let's see one example here find the area of the parallelogram with consecutive vertices at p q and r so you need to remember that the uh, vector the cross product is between vector okay between the vector u and v is not between the point but given to you now is the point of p q and r okay so let's say we have a point p here q here and r here so the point p is 1 3 and negative 2 the point q is 2 1 and 4 the point r is negative 3 1 and 6 so let's see let's say we have one vector from point q to point p where we denote it as qp and we have another vector from q to r where we denote it as qr okay so we can find the area of the parallelogram that formed by these two vector by finding the magnitude of the qp cross with qr but the first thing is we need to find what is qp okay so how to find the vector qp okay you need to see the direction okay from q to p from q to p therefore the point q here is the x1 y1 and z1 and the point p here is x2 y2 and z2 therefore to find what is the vector qp the formula if you can remember is x2 minus x1 i plus with y2 minus y1 j plus with z2 minus z1 k okay so this is how we can find the vector of qp therefore let's take the um let's take okay let's take the value of x2 1 minus with 2 so what you have 1 minus 2 is negative 1i plus with 3 minus 1 is 2j plus with negative 2 minus 4 will give you negative 6k. Okay. So therefore, you will have qp as negative i plus 2j minus 6k. That's why you have this one. Okay. And then we want to find qr. So you see the direction is from q to r therefore q will be x1 y1 z1 and r will be x2 y2 and z2 so to find the vector qr we will minus the value of x2 with x1 so negative 3 
minus 2i plus with this one is 1 minus with 1 0 j plus with 6 minus with 4 is 2k so negative 2 minus negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5i plus 0j so there is no 0 here uh, there is no j here plus with 2 Okay, that's why we have negative 5i plus 2k. Okay. okay, so now we already have two vector, which is the vector. Here is the vector qp and here is the vector qr. So if we want to find the parallelogram that formed by these two vector, we can just simply find the cross product between qp and qr then we find the magnitude of this cross product because the magnitude of the cross product is actually give us the value or the area of the parallelogram okay so now we are finding the magnitude uh, sorry we are finding the cross product of qp and qr so uh, just now i have i have show you how to find qp and qr where we have uh, vertices of the um uh three vertices okay and from three vertices we want to find the point qp and qr later i will show you okay how if we find pqpr not qp qr is okay it will give you the same answer okay okay so now we already have qp and qr so qp is negative i plus 2j minus 6k so we find we want to find the cross product of these two vectors so what you have to do is Put it in term of matrix form so we have i j and k here so for qp this one is for qp you have negative 1 2 and negative 6 then for qr you have negative 5 0 and 2 okay don't forget that we have j here but j is 0 okay so now we want to find the cross product how to find the cross product is similar to the methodology to find the determinant okay where we will eliminate the first row and the first column first okay therefore we left with 2 negative 6 0 and 2 and this one is for i okay and don't forget that when you do for the second things or when you eliminate the first row and the second column the sign here is negative so you have negative and here you have negative 1 negative 5 negative 6 and 2 and this is for j okay and then you eliminate the first row and the third column okay so the first row and the third column here and the sign is positive so you have positive what you have is negative 1 negative 5 2 0 and this one is for k okay so what we need to do is we need to find the determinant of this one so 2 times 2 is 4 minus with 0 times negative 6 is 0 so this one is for i we minus with negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 minus with negative 6 times negative 5 is 30 okay this one is for j plus negative 1 times 0 is 0 minus negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 this one is for k okay so what you have here is 4 minus 0 is 4i minus negative 2 minus 30 is negative 32 so negative and negative will give you positive 32 j 0 minus minus is plus 0 plus 10 is positive 10 k okay so this is the cross product of qp and qr how to find the parallelogram of the uh, how to find the area of the parallelogram is by finding the magnitude of the cross product qp and qr so how to find the magnitude is by using the formula square root of x square plus y square plus z square so here is x x is 4 therefore we have square root of 4 square plus with here is the y so we have 32 square plus with 10 squared so what you have is the square root of 1140 and this one is the area of the parallelogram that is formed from these two vector where these two vector is uh, the vector that we get from these three point okay p q and r okay someone might ask how if you actually draw your uh, three vertices like this just now we put uh, just now we put Okay, we have three vertices. Just now we put here as 
P, Q, and R. So we find the Q, P, and Q, R. How if you put your vertices like this? Here is P, here is Q, here is R. Okay, it doesn't matter actually. It's just that you need to understand what is your vector. So if you put your vertex P, Q, and R like this, okay, you understand that the first vector is from P to Q. Okay, so the point Q is here 2, 1, 4. Okay, and the point P is 1, 3, and negative 2. And also the point R is negative 3, 1, and 6. So now you need to understand which vector you want to find. So the vector, the first vector is P, Q from here to here. Okay, so how to find the vector P, Q? You need to, because it's from P to Q, therefore the point P will be X1, Y1, and Z1. And the point Q will be X2, Y2, and Z2. To, so to find the vector P, Q, okay, you need to take X2 minus X1. So 2 minus with 1, you will get 1i. 1 minus with 3, you will get negative 2j. 4 minus with negative 2, you will get 4 minus negative will give plus. So 4 plus 2 is positive 6k. So this one is your PQ. And now you want to find another vector which is from P to R. Okay, which is will give you the vector PR. Okay, so how to find the vector PR? Okay, because it's from P to R, P will be X1, Y1, and Z1, R will be X2, Y2, and Z2. Again, we will take the X2 minus with X1, so negative 3 minus 1 will give you negative 4i. Okay, 1 minus with 3 will give you negative 2j. And 6 minus with negative 2, minus minus plus, so 6 plus 2 is 8k. So this one is your PQ and PR. Okay, it doesn't matter, you need to continue by finding the cross product of PQ cross with PR. Okay, so we do as usual, we put it inside the matrix form. So we have I, J, and K here. So for PQ, the first one, you have 1, negative 2, 6. And for PR, you have negative 4, negative 2, and 8. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to eliminate the first row and the first column here, so what you have here is negative 2, negative 2, 6, 8, and this one is for i. And then we eliminate the second row. Okay, we eliminate the second row. When we eliminate this, uh, we eliminate the first row and the second column. So don't forget that the sign will be negative. Okay, so what you have here is 1, negative 4. Uh, 6 and 8 and this one is for J and then we eliminate the first row and the third column here so you have positive and what you have is 1, negative 4, negative 2, negative 2 and this one is for K okay this one is for I, J and K so now you just need to calculate the um, determinant of this one so negative 2 times 8 is negative 16 Okay, so you have negative 16 minus with negative 12. Minus with negative 12 i. Okay. Minus with 1 times 8 is 8 minus with 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. J plus with 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 minus with negative 2 times 4 is 8 k. Okay. So if you uh, calculate, negative 16 plus 12 will give you negative 4i minus with 8 plus 24 will give you 32j plus with negative 2 minus 8 will give you negative 10k. So this is your PQ cross PR. And you are not yet done because you need to find the magnitude of PQ cross PR. So the magnitude is square root of x square. So your x is negative 4 square plus with your y is negative 32 square plus with your k is negative 10 square. And if you calculate 
the last answer with same which is the square root of 1140 because you see you have the same value here for 32 and 10 but you only have the different sign negative negative and negative and the different sign the negative sign to the power of 2 will give you positive so at the end it will give you the same answer so it doesn't matter how you form your vector but you need to remember how to get the value of vector and which vector that form the parallelogram that you want to find is area okay okay if before this we have seen how can how we can find the area of the parallelogram by using the magnitude of cross product okay where the magnitude of cross product actually give you uh, the area of parallel parallelogram that be formed by two vector if you have the vector u and v here okay so you will have the parallelogram and this area of parallelogram can be found by using the formula of magnitude of vector u cross with the magnitude of vector v okay so if you can see actually the half of the parallelogram is actually the triangle okay so we actually can find the area of the triangle formed by the vector u and v by half of the area of a parallelogram if the area of a parallelogram is given by the magnitude of u cross with the vector v therefore the area of triangle can be found by using the formula half of the magnitude of u cross with v okay because the magnitude of u cross v will give you the whole area here but if you only want the triangle the triangle is half of the parallelogram therefore the magnitude of u cross with v v times with 1 over 2 or half so what will we what we will get in return is the area of the triangle formed by the vector u and vector v okay so what we can say that from the cross product we can find the area of the parallelogram and also the triangle okay and there is a note here where if the area of the triangle is zero means three points a b and c are collinear means they are in a same uh, line okay the point a b and c is in the same line therefore you will get the area of the triangle equal to zero okay so let's see example here given the point a b and c where a is 1 2 3 b is 2 negative 1 and 1 and c is negative 2 1 and negative 1 okay so we need to find the area of the parallelogram formed by a b and a c so you just need to know that you have two vector the vector is a b and a c means the vector is from point a to point b and point a to point c so what we will have is like this okay it might be the point a must be here the point b here and the point c here so here you will have the vector a b and here you will have the vector a c okay is given to you three points so the first thing is you need to find what is the vector a b so how to find the vector a b you need to see the direction is from a to b therefore the point a one two three will be x one y one z one because it start here and it's two b is n in b so the point b two negative one and one will be x two y two and z two therefore to find the vector a b we take the x2 which is 2 minus with 1 so we have 2 minus with 1 for i then we have negative 1 minus with 2 for j so we have negative 1 minus with 2 for j and we have 1 minus with 3 for k so 1 minus with 3 for k so 2 minus 1 is 1 i negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 j 1 minus 3 is negative 2k so this one is the vector a b now we want to find the vector a c so it's similar because from a to c therefore point a will be x1 y1 z1 and point c negative 2 1 negative 1 will be x2 y2 z2 so if we want to find the vector a to c okay we take the first value x2 minus with x1 here so we have negative 2 minus 1 for i then we have 
y2 which is 1 minus with 2 so 1 minus with 2 for j and we have negative 1 minus with 3 for k okay so negative 1 minus 1 is negative 3i 1 minus 2 is negative j and negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 k so now we already have the vector a b and vector a c so to find the parallelogram formed by these two vector the first thing we need to do is we need to find the cross product of a b multiplied by a c cross product of a b and a c so now we have this one is a b and this one is a c so how to find the cross product we eliminate the first row and the first column here so what we have is negative 3 negative 1 negative 2 and negative 4 this one is for i okay then we eliminate the first row and the the first row and the second column here so what we have don't forget that the second one sign is negative so what you have here is one we have negative three negative two negative four and this one is for j and we have plus eliminate the first row and the third column okay so you will have one negative three negative three negative four and this one is for k Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to multiply negative 3 minus, uh, multiply with negative 4 will give you 12 minus with negative 2 multiply negative 1 will give you 2. This is for i. Then we have minus, okay, 1 multiply with negative 4 will give you negative 4 minus with negative 2 multiply negative 3 is 6. So you have minus 6 here for j. And then plus 1 multiply by negative 1 will give you negative 1. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 9. So, negative 1 minus 9. This one is for K. So, 12 minus 2 is 10i minus with negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. Negative and negative positive 10J. Negative 1 minus 9 is negative 10. K. So, this one is AB cross with AC. Okay. And we know that the area of parallelogram can be found by finding the magnitude of AB multiply by ac so how to find the magnitude the formula is square root of x square plus y square plus z square so x square is 10 square plus with y square is 10 square as well and z square is negative 10 square so what you have here is 100 plus 100 plus 100 is square root of 300 okay so it's square root of 300 or this one is the one that have been uh, simplified. So you just can left your answer set of 300 unit square. So this one is the area of the parallelogram. So when the question asks you to find the area of the triangle, it's very easy because you know that the area of triangle is half of the area of parallelogram. So if you have the area of parallelogram 10 set 3, so half of it will give you 5 set 3 unit squared. So this one is the area of triangle. Just multiply it by half. So how from set 300 you get set 10, uh, 10 set 3? Because set 300 is actually set 100 times 3. Am I right? 100 times 3 is 300. And this one can be separated like this. Set 100 times with set 3. And set 100 is actually 10. That's why you get 10 set 3. This one is the simplified form. Okay, but you can choose either to left it in this form or in this form. Alright. So next is to find the unit vector. So if you can remember the formula to find unit vector, let's say we have the unit, uh, you, have, you have a vector uh, u. You want to find the unit vector u. You need to take the vector u divided by its own magnitude so if you want to find the unit vector of the cross product you need to take the cross product itself minus with its magnitude we have find both of them before so the cross product of a b uh, cross with a c is this one 10 i plus 10 j minus 10 k so you have 10 i plus 10 j minus 10 k divide by its magnitude its magnitude is actually 10 set 3 okay so you will have like this 10 over 10 set 3i plus with 10 over 10 set 3j minus with 10 over 10 set 3k. So 10 and 10 can be eliminated. That's why it left you with 1 over set 3i plus 1 over set 3j and 
negative 1 over third 3 k. Okay, so this is the unit vector. So this is the application uh, of the cross product. Okay, where from the cross product, we can find the area of the parallelogram as well as the area of the triangle.